Hi, this is Bill Dutcher. I'm here with the Synergy harp guitar made by Alistair Hay at Emerald Guitars in Ireland. I just took possession of this instrument from McNichol Guitars in Salt Lake City, Utah as part of their promotional campaign, the Road Trip Program. Uh, this is where McNichol Guitars is offering to send the guitar around the country to players. It's an offer I just couldn't pass up. They're basically sending this instrument around the country to players that are interested in checking out the harp guitar and learning about, more about its form and its function. You basically get to keep it for a week, and then they send you a FedEx tag, and you get to send it to the next guy. So it's a win-win. This compact design uh, not only makes it easier to play, but it's a perfect instrument for the touring musician where size and durability is a concern both from the size standpoint of traveling on airplanes, which when I'm taking my full-size harp guitar, I always get hit with the oversized overweight baggage and it just tears a hole in my wallet. So this thing is small enough that I, you know, if in a gig bag, you could put it in the overheads. The workmanship is absolutely just stunning. It's all carbon fiber, top, back, and size, one piece. You can kind of get a shot of it there. There's the neck joint. And it just fits great. And, you know, the harp guitar has seen a resurgence over the years here. And today's players are embracing this instrument to give another dimension to their music and wanting to bring their creativity and expression to another level. So I highly recommend you check one of these things out because it uh, really is just a total unique instrument. The overall length of the instrument is about uh, just under 38 inches. It weighs about five and a half pounds. It's not very heavy at all. The overall depth is about three and a quarter, you know, under four inches. And the overall width is about 13 inches across the lower bout here. The sub bases basically are just really big, thick acoustic phosphor bronze strings. You can't really go out and get bass phosphor bronze strings because the ball ends are too big and they won't fit in the pinholes here. So you gotta keep that in mind. There are various online resources for buying strings and you can find those gauges. The gauges on the sub bases are from this first sub basis, sub base to the lowest one, a 56, a 60, a 64, a 68, an 80, and an 84. The sub base scale lengths are 26.7 inches, 27.8, 28.7, 29.5, 30.3 and 31. The guitar neck scale length is 24 inches. It's a shorter scale. I really kind of like it. It fits my hands a little bit better and those far stretches are a little bit easier to get to. The tuners are Godo 510 Cosmo Black. Very cool look with the black finish. I'm actually partial to the black finish myself. I just kind of like that. So the black hardware, how it's all blacked out with the bridge pins and the saddle and the nut and the tuning machines is just really kind of stealth looking. It's really cool. The nut and the saddle, as I said, are graph, uh, graph tech. The bridge pins are graph tech. It has stainless steel frets. It's a total one piece construction here. Not a lot of, uh, you know, a lot of right angles on it. Just great flowing lines. Dual action truss rod on the guitar neck. The pickup system that came with this instrument is a B-band. Uh, there's a UST under the saddle transducer underneath both saddles with an internal preamp wired to a stereo output jack, and there's your battery compartment there. They have uh, one of the pickups wired to the tip, the other one wired to the ring, so you use a stereo Y cable coming out. Stereo plug on this end splits to a Y, and you can plug into two different sound sources to separate the guitar strings from the bass strings. Uh, in this video here, I wanted to run it through its paces, talk about its features, give my feedback uh, as a harp guitar player as to the features I like to see in an instrument. So uh, sit back and enjoy. We're going to demo the guitar both unplugged, plugged into some various preamps, uh, throw some microphones on it, and do a little bit of performance video. I've picked just one little short under a one minute uh, phrase of a tune here, one of my tunes, that I'm going to replay the same thing over each different uh, situation, whether it's direct or microphone, so you can kind of really have some consistency with what you're hearing here. So let's sit back and uh, give it a listen and give it a run through.